In this video, I'll show you how to use a NFC tag and Siri shortcuts to create a time conditional shortcut that whenever you scan the tag, it will run one shortcut during the day and a different one at night instead of having to use multiple NFC tags to run different shortcuts. I'll show you how to set this up along with other ideas they can do with this shortcut. It's a little complicated to set this up since there are a bunch of if then statements and your formatting dates but I'll show you step by step how to set this up very easily. If you're not sure what an NFC tag is, it's a small chip that can hold small amounts of data and they can come in the form of stickers so you can stick them virtually anywhere. You're able to write to the tag via the shortcuts app on your iPhone and you can control your smart home devices, control settings, and more straight from a tag. I've made a whole video on NFC tags and everything that you can do with them and I will leave that link down in the description below if you want to check it out. One of my favorite places to use this shortcut is in my kitchen. When I scan the NFC tag, it will play different types of music on my HomePod mini and adjust the lights based on the time of day. In the morning, I don't like to talk to Siri. I would rather just control everything from my phone. So whenever I scan the tag from about 5 a.m. to 8 a.m., my lights will be a dim white and the HomePod will play lo-fi beats at a low volume. When I scan the tag later in the day between about 9 and 10 a.m., my lights will be a bright white and upbeat music will play on the HomePod. And later at night when I'm ready to unwind for the day, I'll scan the tag again and this time my lights will be a dim warm white and smooth jazz will play to help me relax for the night. All right, so how do we set this shortcut up? So first of all, open up the shortcuts app and then tap on the plus symbol to create a new shortcut. And what we want this shortcut to do is get the current date, then turn the date into a number, and then we'll use the number as time in our conditional statements. So go ahead and in the search bar, tap on that and choose date. So we go ahead and get that and drag that into our shortcut to build it up. And now we need to format the date. So go ahead and tap on the search bar again, and then type in format date. Once you add that, you'll see this little arrow right here. You want to open that up and you'll see these three options. What you want to do is tap on short and you'll see a couple of options here. Choose, uh, choose custom and you'll see format string and you can format the date in however you are you want it to, like month, year, hour, minutes, and seconds. But for simplicity's sake, for this video, we'll just be using the hour. So we'll go ahead and remove all that and just choose H and leave local the way that it is. Now we need to get the number of the date. So go back in your search and type in get numbers from input. All right, sweet. So now what we need to do is basically, now we ha have the number and we need to start to build our conditional statements. Go ahead and go back in the search bar and type in if. And now we need to just drag this into here. So now if the numbers is under what condition? So you can choose if the number, or in this case time, is after a certain time or before or less than. But in this particular case, I'm gonna do what doing it is between. I'm gonna start using my day shortcut. I want it to be between five and eight in the morning. Now, whenever you convert this to time, this will be a 24 hour time period. So anything after 12, you will have to use 13 and beyond. So this is gonna be between, if the time of day is between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m., what do you want to happen? And I want to control my lights. So I have a scene that I have set up in the home app. So I'm just gonna go, go ahead and drag the control variable right here and choose set scenes and accessories. And then I want to choose this for to be my morning vibes. So go ahead and choose next and done. So now if the time is between five and eight, it'll run this scene. But if it's not, or otherwise, then what do you want to, to happen? So you need to create another conditional statement. Let's go back in here and add in if. All right, we're just gonna drag this right under the right under the otherwise. So if the time is not between five and eight, otherwise what? This is gonna be my day conditional. So under condition, I'm gonna choose an is between and during the daytime, so between like 9 a.m. and 12 is fine. And what I want to have happen, I want to control more lights. So I could just go into here and just search and do control and adjust my lights, but there's an easier way. If you tap on this little home icon, you'll choose, see an option for duplicate. Just tap on that and you can just drag that down right under here. That way you don't have to go back into search and having to drag multiple things. So I'm gonna choose this, I'm gonna choose, this is gonna be, be my day vibes. So choose that and uncheck the, the morning and hit done. 
So now if it's between 9 a.m., it'll run the dev app scene. Otherwise, what? Otherwise, I want it to run this conditional during a different time. So go ahead and add in a third if statement. All right, otherwise, and again, add it right under the current otherwise here. And this is gonna be my evening. So go under condition is between, and between about five to 10. So I'm gonna go uh, 17, which is five and 10, which is 20. Again, this is in military time or 24 hour time period. So now I have that, and if the time between five and 10, what do I want to have happen? I want to run another scene or a different scene. So go ahead and drag that under here and choose my evening vibes, hit done and then done. Now under the otherwise, it basically gonna see if it's not any, if it's not between any of these times, then what? And at this point, I don't want anything to happen. So I'm gonna go in here and hit the search bar and type in nothing. I'm just gonna drag that under the otherwise and that is all there is to it. Let me kind of show you how this looks. It's going to get the date, then format the date as a number and use the number as a time. So it's gonna be saying, if the number between five and eight, run this scene. Otherwise, check to see if it's between nine and 12. If it is, run this scene. Otherwise, if it's not, check to see if it's between five and 10. If it is, run this scene. If it's not, then do, do, then do nothing. And under here you'll see there are three end if statements or three end ifs. This is to close each of the if statements that we opened up, one, two, and three. So you want to leave all of these three right here the way that they are. Now we can just give this shortcut a name, an icon, I hit done and I hit done again and that's all there is to it. To set this shortcut up with an NFC tag, you'll first have to grab your iPhone and pick up some NFC tags. I'll leave the ones that I use down in the description below if you want to pick some up. Next, you have to open up the shortcuts app, then tap the automation tab at the bottom. Choose the plus button and then choose create personal automation. Scroll down to NFC and then tap scan. Scan your tag and then give the tag a name and under do, tap on the box. Now you could recreate the whole shortcut from here, but to save time, choose the shortcuts action and then choose run shortcut and choose your time conditional shortcut that we just made. Disable the ask before running and tap don't ask and then tap done and you're all done. Now what's really cool about this shortcut is that you can actually run the entire thing from your voice. So this is gonna be great if you don't have your phone nearby or you can even put this shortcut on a widget on your home screen to run this shortcut even faster. Now this shortcut can be applied to other automations as well. If you have an Apple TV, then you can put an NFC tag near your couch. So whenever you scan it in the morning, the Apple TV can open up an app like ESPN to show you the latest sports updates. And then when you scan it at night, it could open up a streaming app like Netflix to watch a show. You can also use this shortcut to control devices that do not work with HomeKit. I use the battery charging trigger to auto turn off my non HomeKit compatible bathroom light, but only if the time is between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. about whenever I'm going to bed. Let me know how you use time conditional shortcuts in your smart home and thank you for watching.